So I thought I would do a super quick video on how to place um, wigs or switches. Um, I am not an expert. I've only placed um, switches a handful of times, like literally maybe five or six times ever. Um, so I'm definitely not an expert on it. Um, and there's a lot of things that go into choosing the right um, switch and that kind of thing. Um, generally, you don't use them to create length because obviously if you've just got a few switches in there trying to be your length, it can be a little bit obvious. You might be able to do it on specific occasions based on, um, you know, if the dog has some short spots from um, breakage or whatever, but in general, they're used more for, for volume, um, rather than to create any length. Um, and so you generally don't want your switches to be longer than your actual hair because um, you don't want to cut your switches because they don't, they don't grow, whereas your dog's hair might or a next dog might as well. So you wanna choose one that hopefully you can fit to, to your dog. Um, so, I assume you already know how to band in show sections. If not, I do have a video on it on my page. But I've already got my dog's bubble band in here. You generally don't um, put switches into your bubble band. But, so we're gonna put it into our next section. How big your sections are and how big your wigs are, you know, is personal preference based on your dog and that kind of thing. I'm just gonna have a basic, this is um, almost from my overly large bubble band to the, to the ear, but I would probably do two sections before the ear and then maybe one or two sections um, oh, like over the ear. Um, but again, this is just kind of a basic section. And I'm going to use a white band or white bands um, just so that you can see better but you would generally obviously use the kind the color that would match your dog so what we're going to do is we have our regular section here what we're going to do is we're going to split this section up so if you had another comb you could place that in your hair to hold the rest of it out of your way there we are so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split my section in half there we are so I've got it split in half and I'm just gonna lay the back half back and I'm gonna start with this front section I'm gonna take my band and I'm going to wrap it around the hair the number of times you do it can depend on how big your bands are, how thick your section is, blah, blah, blah. So I've got my band wrapped around and I've got this extra loop hanging off the back that I haven't wrapped around. I'm going to put my finger inside of there to hold it open. I'm going to take my switch and I'm going to place it centered and right down to the base of the dog's skin and I'm going to place my band. So I've got the wig here, it's placed all the way down to the dog's skin so that it's gonna sit solidly. And I've just allowed this band to fall, which falls about where the um, bands on my switch are. And then what I'm gonna do, oops, is I'm going to gather the rest of the section that I took. I'm going to bring it forward so that it wraps around the switch area and then making sure that your um, switch is nicely seated you're going to wrap your second band around right over top of your first band and hopefully right over top of where your switches are banded as well so careful not to pull too much on it because you don't want to unseat your switch. 
I'm just gonna wrap that in. I didn't do a very good job of keeping the rest of his hair out, but and then you can just fiddle with it till you've got it in there. And you can, if you want, cut out your first band that you used, or you can leave it all together. And you wanna make sure that you're banded in tight because you don't want to either be showing off your dog's expression and accidentally tug on the switch and pull it out of your bands. And you also don't um, want the judge to come through and be fiddling with your top knot and have the judge come around with a handful of switch. Um, and so yeah, so you wanna make sure that that is solidly seated in there. And then when you are doing connecting your bands together, like if you had them banded all the way down the neck and you were connecting your bands together, what you would want to try to do is if you aren't banding like half and half, like some people would band half and then band, pretending this isn't his bubble band, um, band half and half together. Um, but if you want to just take smaller sections, you want to kind of take a section that has a little bit of your switch in it and you want to do that again just so that it is held together in multiple places that way if again you're moving around the ring the dog shakes its head um, it is held together in multiple places so if it did happen to come loose or whatever it's again just not going to be flopping out onto the floor um, so yeah, so that's kind of how you roughly put in a switch. Like I said, I've only done this like five or six times um, myself. Um, so I'm not saying that everything I do is exactly the way that anybody else should do it or anything, but um, this is the way that I have been taught by the people that have been helping me with my grooming and that kind of thing. And um, and so far it's done a decent job for me and uh, hopefully some of those tips help you too. Um, I'm only going to show it once just because I'm just getting ready for a maintenance bath here. Um, but if you want, just rewind and rewatch the video to see me put it in again. But uh, you pretty much take half your section, wrap that section with a band, leaving um, some excess that you can slip your switch into, making sure your switch is sat right down against the skin, and then bring up your other section to wrap around that front section. And as you can see, you know, you don't see any sign with the switch in there. The band is sitting, like each band is sitting on top of each other, so it just kind of feels like one kind of banded in section. And um, I know that there's controversy on whether or not you should or shouldn't use switches and that kind of thing, but they are also um, totally legal in grooming competitions. So I think that it's um, it's an um, important video if you are wanting to do a grooming competition with a dog that's hair is on the thinner side. Um, so yeah, I hope that is helpful to anybody who is looking to put in a set of switches. And like I said, um, as far as choosing switches go, I would not want to be the one to explain how because I'm just personally not, like I said, I've done this five or six times and that's it. Um, but you may choose thicker sections, you may choose thinner sections, um, you may put some in, in one spot and none in another band. Um, so you just have to play around with what is going to work best for your dog, its hair, and how you spray up um, as well. So I hope that's helpful and thanks for watching.